Hey YouTube. This your girl Miss Candy Joe. Alright, um it was a hot one today. <laughs> I will say that. Um so yeah. Topic for today is G L B T Q allies and enemies. I was um well y'all have to excuse me first of all. I just got out the shower and I did my noxema and my little, you know, ritual. So you have to excuse my face, you have to excuse my flag. Like I, I was on Twitter and um Boris Kojo had tweeted something about you know, um something about gay people. I'm gonna like I'm gonna copy and paste it and put it down somewhere in my descriptions or maybe in my comments somewhere. But he commented something along the lines of gay people and it wasn't in a negative context or anything you know um it was something about um genetics or something he thinks that people's sexuality is chosen by genetics and um a lot of a lot of um heterosexual people had opinions like they always do and me my doing this video is not to talk about Boris Kojo's tweet that's not it it's actually to talk about the reactions and what I've noticed, um, so yeah, so he tweets that and so, and like um, a couple of a couple of Christian, a, a couple of the, because I am I'm a Christian woman, I am I'm Baptist, okay, don't get me wrong, but a couple of the really really Christian people started quoting like you know Bible quotes and things of that nature, talking about how gay people are wrong, it's a sin, and all this other stuff, and blah 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 blah. And then you had the, you know, gay people, um, and this is like, this is predominantly African American, like I haven't seen any other cultures or whatever try to get inside of this, you know, conversation, but then you had the gay men who also voiced their opinions, you know, kind of going against the extreme Christian heterosexual people, and... You know, it's funny because I was gonna do this video anyways, but I was I was you know, to be real, I was kinda like, you know, I'm gonna leave it alone because this is something that everybody is talking about. But at the same time, I think it needs to be more allies speaking up. Now, for those of you who don't know what I mean when I say allies, I mean people who are um supportive of the G L B T Q, which is gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, transsexual, um Q questioning, you know, queer um, community. Um, they support them and not to say that they support meaning they want to be, but they support meaning they're there to, to um, how can I put it? I don't want to say mediate. I don't want to say mediate because we're not mediators by any means, but we are we're supporters. We're very strong supporters. And I am, I do identify as an ally. And um, I'm, I'm gonna get into that, you know, a little bit later. But on to the back on to Boris Kojo and you know the war that I called it. Um, so yeah, so there were like a lot of gay people who were like, you know, and this was one um, gay guy. He said, and he, this was a very valid point because one of the girls said, "You choose to be gay" or something like that. And the the gay guy said, "Well, ask your heterosexual followers at what age did they choose to be heterosexual." Nobody, nobody commented on that. <laughs> nobody commented on that. And you know, that just brought up a very, you know, once again, like I'm not here to talk about the tweet per se, but I'm just talking about from the outside looking. From the outside looking in. Okay, because I'm usually in the inside. And I can tell you how I'm in the inside as an ally. I'll give you all that story a little later, but um. Just from the outside looking in, it just seemed like there was a lot of gay versus heterosexual. It's a gay versus heterosexual war. Um, I, I guess I guess I've never noticed, but maybe this is something that's been going on for a very long time: gay people versus heterosexual people, or gay people versus Christian people. But my point being is that you have you have you got the all the way to the right, you got the all the way to the left, but then you have the allies who don't speak up, who don't say, you know, um, I have a, a homosexual friend, I have a homosexual, you know, um, cousin, family, 
I don't know, a homosexual dog. You know, I'm being funny, but I'm just saying, you have the allies who are still quiet, you know. And um, I didn't, the reason why I didn't comment on Morris Tojo's um, tweet or what the extremely Christian people were saying was because I didn't want, come on camera, this thing is autofocus, I'm sorry guys, but I didn't want to partake as an ally in that in that sense and, and on Twitter on a tweet. That's not what I wanted to do. Um so here I am making a video. <laughs> and I just feel like um there needs to be a lot more allies. There's still this this fear for allies to come out and say, Hey, I support G L B T Q. I support that community. I support um humanity, um, respect, I support um, individualism, I support, you know, because me, I guess I guess now would be the perfect time to get into my story, speaking on being an ally. Um, I have a homosexual friend, um, he's actually my first homosexual friend, I met him um, my sophomore year in college, and I hope he sees this in comments, so anyways, I'm going to probably get him on the part two of this video, because there will be a part two. Um, so anyway, so yeah, I met him my sophomore year in, um, in high school, and um, just from just from looking back and remembering, like I said, he was like my first gay friend, and um, he didn't come out in high school, um, so you know, I was, <laughs> I guess I was kind of naive or kind of stupid, I guess, because everybody was telling me, yo, he's gay, or, you know, look at him, this and that, but I'm like, he's not, he's not gay, he's metrosexual, so what, he likes to get his hair pressed and done, so what, his raps are crispy as hell, so what, because he had really, he's a red bone, y'all, and he's fine as all get out, I can say that because that's my best friend, so anyway, uh, <laughs> he had, you know, the hair thing, and all of that, he had a lot of, you know, Trait that I guess or signals that'd be like he's gay, but I was always like, nah, he's not. And plus, I was never the judgmental type person. I never, my mother taught me never to judge. I never judged anybody, and I loved my, I loved anybody at an equal plateau. Nobody was better than anybody. Nobody was any less than anybody. Everybody was loved in my eyes. I never had enemies. If I had enemies, it was over some ghetto nonsense. You know, that didn't make sense that I didn't even know I was a part of. That's how deep it is for me. But anyways, um, so yeah, so throughout high school, he, he kind of received a little, you know, not too much love, you know, and um, we ended up getting accepted at the same university, Michigan State. And um, I remember this, like, yesterday. We had went to this program, and I know he's probably laughing his ass off right now. We had went to this program together. We were both freshmen. We went to this program together, and um, we were walking out. It was a real nice sunny day, and um, he goes to say, "Best friend, I got something to tell you." And I was like, "Okay." I'm thinking, you know, because we've already we've already been cool. We've already I got something to tell you that. Oh, I was like, Woo goodness, I got something to tell you. And he'd be like, "I got something to tell you." So we already did that. I got something to tell you. So the surprise factor was like, okay, maybe he about to tell me that um, he about to get this job or something. Like, our conversations have been, like, really surface. Like, it never been, he never really talked to me about guys straight up. You know what I'm saying? So, the conversation, and, and plus throughout high school, you know, it was like, I, I don't know if he said it, but it was kind of rumored that he was bisexual. So, I think he did say it at one point. Like, I think somebody really did ask him, and he said he was bisexual. So, I took it as that, you know. And um, from what I understood, he did have a girlfriend or so, you know, at the previous high school that he was at, but that's either here or there. Um, so, yeah, we're leaving off the program, and he like, okay, but I don't know if you noticed this, but I'm gay. Okay. All right. I was like, oh, okay. In fact, I don't even, I think that was my reaction for a few seconds, and then I went, oh, I already knew. <laughs> And in actuality, like, I guess, I, now looking at it, I guess what it was back in high school, I was just waiting for him to tell me that he was. 
you know what I'm saying? But I guess given at that circumstance, he just got there. He didn't want to, like, spring it on anybody. And I understand, you know what I'm saying? He didn't know how I would react or so. And as time progressed, we had, like, this friendship, and it just got better and better. And I guess he felt like that was the best time to tell him. Let me give some advice to um, some allies, okay? If you Or if you suspect that you have a friend that is gay, lesbian, who, you know, who's GLBT, or Q, questioning, don't really know. Let me advise you this. Do not pressure them. Even if you got the slightest, tiniest idea that they could be GLBT, or Q, <laughs> don't, question, don't pressure them, okay? Because it, you know, now that I looked at it, a lot of the things that he been through, and have I been through, and that's another thing that I'm going to go through. Um, that's another topic I'm going to touch on this year. Um, the things that he been through, it was really hard to tell anybody. It was almost like, it was almost like he let his actions speak for himself, for, for themselves. And to me, Actions is what it like me. I like I like my actions. I like my words to match up with my actions. My actions to match up with my words. And it was like when he was telling me he was bisexual, and he did a few little things, but he never told me like he was gay. You know. In fact, come to think about it, um, after he told me that he was just straight up gay, he kind of did flip flop between well, I'm bisexual, well, I'm gay. But the point I'm trying to make, especially for all my allies out there, is do not. I like to say poke, because poking is irritating to me. Do not poke your friend if you suspect that they GLBT, Q, um, into telling you that they are. Because, you know, I think as a true friend, you got to have patience. You have to have patience. And that goes even for my straight fans. You, friends, not fans. You have to have patience. And, you know, um, Looking back, I mean, not to say that my high school, it, it wasn't, my high school was very much um, <laughs> understanding. Um, however, in college, um, it was different. Um, being an ally in college for my friend, um, which was something, I'm not going to say it's something that I didn't ask to be. In actuality, it wasn't anything that I asked to be. It happened. You know, and, um, it wasn't like I was going to, and there's so many stories that I've seen, like even on YouTube, the stories that I heard where a lot of gay people, lesbian people, bisexual people, they, um, they lose their friends. Why does videos ask me? Okay, there. They lose their friends because they decide to come out and their friends don't understand and they don't support that and they don't want to go to hell so they don't be friends with them. Let's just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I'm, I'm not that person. I never was that person. I was I was not raised to be that person. But anyway, um, college, the real world, um, a lot of people were not accepted. You would think because this is a larger, larger venue that there will be, and considering it's knowledge based, you're supposed to be mature, you know, adult. There was not a lot of accepting people of him, and there were not a lot of accepting people of me, okay? There have been times where um, we walk in a mall, we were, we were always together, inseparable. We walk in a mall, and a lot of guys, you know, because that's when my friend actually, he started blossoming, I like to say. He, he started becoming himself. He started feeling more comfortable in his own skin. And so he started dressing up certain ways, you know? And, um... A lot of guys, they will, they will look at him, and then they will look at me, and they will give me, like, the most disgusting. And it's not just guys, but it'll be females, too. It's just, it'd be anybody. And they will give me the most disgusting look. And at first, at first I was hurt by it, because I felt like, you know, you don't know, neither one of us. And there have been times we actually been discriminated against, you know, too also. Both of us together, including me, being a heterosexual girl. Um, there have been times. And like I just, you know, it 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 goes 
it goes both ways in both worlds. You know, um, as as an ally, I feel like we need to support each other also. I I feel like I need to support other allies. You know, um, along marching and standing for my GLBTQ. You know, along for that community, because I will. Um, but there's just a lot. There's a lot on the flip side, you know. And I just feel like a lot of us, a, a lot of us, when I say us, I mean allies. I, we need to stop being quiet. Like we don't. I'm not saying we need to get up in each other's faces and be like, "You don't have to talk about my friend. You don't have to do that." I'm not. I'm not saying do that. But I feel like we need. And, and some of us are ashamed, you know. Some of us are ashamed. Me. It took a lot for me to understand GLBT because once again, this is all something new to me. You know, um, everything was all this whole world, the GLBT world, was something new to me. And like I said, it wasn't like I, I never was that girl to be like, oh, I'm so you know, I hate gay people and this and that. But at the same time, I never understood it until I met you know my best friend of five years. Now, you know, and, um. I, I, you know, I, I say all of this to say this, you know, um, I believe that as an ally, um, I am, I, I support, first of all, I support a lot of things. I support, um, well, I'm against domestic violence. Um, I'm for women's rights. I'm for humanity. I'm for love. I'm for peace. You know, I'm for a lot of things. And one of the main things I'm for are being true to myself. And like I feel like it's allies, you know, because um, we actually do have a title. We do. We we actually have a place now. We're actually a subculture, you know. Um, I feel like we have to stand up. Also, we have to stop being afraid. Okay. Um, you either in or you're out. That's how I am. You can't be halfway with something. There have been times where I got a couple of my associates together about checking my gay friend about anything. There have been times I've cut people off because they didn't approve of his lifestyle. Because he is he is my friend. He's a part of me. And I feel like, I'm not, not to say that, you know, um, not to say that uh, whatever he does, I fully support it. There are some things that he has done that I, I don't support. But at the same time, you're not going to sit here in my face, and especially if we're together, and you're not going to blatantly disrespect him. I'm not going to let anything slide, any slick shit, okay? Um, it's, it's, what is it? It's a term, throwing shade. I'm not going to allow you to throw any fucking shade at my best friend because he is who he is, okay? And at the same time, I'm not going to tell him to tone it down. If he feels that he needs to come outside, paint it, and the rainbow colors, then he shall very well do so. Because that is what he chooses to do. But you are not going to disrespect him because he is being himself. Okay, I'm about to cut this video short. I'm about to get into part two. Um, yeah, because this is running into like 18 minutes and I'm scared. I don't know if it's going to go on the 20 or so. But anyways, be sure to look out for part two, my love. Mwah. Peace.